Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video, and in this video we are going to be continuing on with our uh, with our journey through actually making some programming tutorials. And in this particular uh, video, we're going to be starting on a brand new series on the Swift programming language. Now, what exactly is Swift? Well, Swift is an object-oriented programming language, but it's also but you can also do functional programming with it. So it's a so it supports many different uh, programming paradigms. Uh, it's a programming language built by Apple, initially for Apple platforms, but it has expanded to support Windows and Linux platforms. Uh, thanks to the open source community, because the uh, the language a couple of year a couple of years ago was made open source, and so the open source community took that really well, took that in stride, and they've made Swift compatible with uh, other operating systems, even to the point of being able to build uh, GUI applications on Windows, even. Uh, you can now write server side Swift code uh, for like for like REST web services and excuse me, all kinds of other stuff. So there's all kinds of stuff you can do with Swift. Um, Swift supports a lot of modern features. Uh, it has concurrency uh, built in now. Uh, it has generics. Um, you can, you know, like I said, you can build functional application, like functional programming projects with it rather than object oriented. Um, all that stuff. You can build iOS applications, Mac OS applications, and uh, basically applications for just about any Apple platform you can think of. You can build stuff um, with Swift. Uh, on those platforms, uh, there's also uh, there's also various uh, tools that you can use to write Swift. Um, you can use Visual Studio Code, which is what uh, people generally use uh, when they want to write Swift on Windows or Linux. Um, but if you're on Mac, there are there are a few options that you could use. Uh, you could use Visual Studio Code, and that would work fine. Uh, but most people will use Xcode because that is the uh, integrated development environment for Swift uh, that Apple has made. We'll talk a little bit more about Xcode uh, later on. But if you go to swift.org, they have all kinds of resources here for you, including... Uh, guides for how to get uh, Swift set up on Linux, how to get it set up on Windows, uh, different different uh, news updates about Swift, uh, the release notes, all kinds of stuff. So I urge you to check that out. I also urge you to check out uh, the GitHub for Swift so you can kind of see where things are going. And if at, if at some point you feel comfortable enough to contribute to Swift, um, that you know, Swift.org and the GitHub repo for Swift is a great place to start. Right, so uh, that pretty much does it for this brief introductory to Swift. Thank you all so very much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.